Hi, my name is Shelby Miller. I am 30 years old, and my anticipated graduation year is 2026. My name's Julian Richards. I'm 22 years old. I'm currently a second year business administration major here. My name is Tara Emanuel. I'm 21 years old, and I plan on graduating in 2024. So my Mercer journey spans a proud decade. I started back in about 2013. Uh, I had attended a traditional four-year college uh, from 2011 to 2012. So I always knew about Mercer. I think it is a wonderful option and I wish I had stuck with it from the beginning. But I went through my odyssey years and then once I hit my 30s, I said it's time to go back to the right place. I've always loved business. When I discovered Mercer, I saw they had a great business administration program and a good track to transfer to a four-year school. I heard about Mercer back in high school through my counselor and some family, and um, they recommended I come to Mercer first and then after that transfer. And honestly, this was the best idea ever because it saves me some money and I still get to pursue the career I want to. I am studying uh, health sciences with a concentration in nursing. So nursing was kind of always an idea in the back of my head. I am in the middle of five children, and actually my younger sister is one of my biggest inspirations, as she is an ER nurse in Trenton and is a proud graduate of the Mercer Nursing Program. So I said if she can do it, so can I. I'm an engineering major, and the first reaction I always get when I say that, they're like, oh my god, you must be smart. Well, I am. <laughs> and before it was supposed to be architecture, I wanted to sit there and design the most beautiful buildings you could ever see. But then I also realized that building it in itself is even more interesting because not only do you design it, but you get to bring it to life. And this is the interesting part about it. So that's why I picked engineering. I want to bring big stuff to life and be part of something bigger than me. Unfortunately, we are experiencing a nursing shortage and I plan to get right to work and continue to go where I'm called. This year, I received the Dr. Constance Colin Jones Scholarship and the Fred Anker Memorial Scholarship. I'm the recipient of the Engineering Scholarship and the PNC Bank Scholarship. I'm the proud recipient of the Women's Leadership Scholarship in honor of Linda Lamb. Uh, it means more than I can accurately put into words. As someone who has been a financial aid student uh, previously, this kind of came as a, a wonderful surprise. It alleviates so much stress and affords me more time for my studies that I wouldn't have been able to have because I don't need to be spending that time at work and I can spend it here in the library studying for nursing. The scholarships have helped me a lot. They've helped me trick commute here. They've helped, helped me pay for non-tuition costs like my school books and that has really helped me. Uh, I don't have to worry about the finance and accounting behind that, especially as a business major. It's been a tremendous help to me. I am considered an international student, so my tuition is twice as much as anybody here. Therefore, those scholarships really just brightens my day, or my semester if we may, because since I'm already paying out of pocket, it can take out like at least half of the tuition, which is perfect for me. I'm truly thankful to have been selected for these scholarships. Your generosity has helped both, not just me, but my peers continue our higher education. I aspire someday to find myself in a similar position to help students much like myself today continue their academic dreams tomorrow. Thank you. I would like to thank from the bottom of my heart those who invested in me and in other students like me who um, really want to be able to give back later. And so I thank you so much for helping me finish my studies. It is a tremendous honor to receive this scholarship and I could not be more thankful.